Hey right, everybody, out here uh, soaking up a little the last of the sun for the for the evening here. I wanted to uh, throw up a little video that uh, I'm going to be using to try to eliminate some of the wax moths in my my apiary, and it's a uh, it's a very simple solution. I had it on a piece of paper, but I think I can remember it. It's that simple. What you do is you take one cup of water and a cup of sugar and a half a cup of vinegar. Now, I don't think it matters if it's apple cider or just white vinegar. Once you get all that uh, stirred up and dissolved, pour it in your container and then you take a uh, banana peel, slice up a banana peel and put that in it. And uh, this this here is one of them I've got. It's got a little hole in the side of it right here. And a lid, you know, I can take, take off and empty it. It's uh, recommended that you change this once a month or, or as needed, I guess, if it, if it fills up with a lot of moths. I don't know if you can see in here or not. It's got a few moths in there and a couple of flies, but it's, it's probably been over a month. But, uh, it's catching a few, a few, you know, if, that, if it just catches a few, that's it's better than none. Just drill you a little hole. This one's probably a little over an inch diameter. You know, just something where a moth can uh, crawl in there. I've got another one. I don't, uh, I don't remember where I put it, but uh, I'll, I'll find it. And I may make some more. I wanted to uh, share this information. Hopefully the wind ain't so bad. I mean, this wind's been roaring here today. I've got one of those fuzzy things on my microphone, but the wind is so bad here. It, <laughs> it cuts out a lot of it, but it don't cut it all out. But, uh, anyway, uh, oh, one more thing. I will be giving some updates on, uh, on the laying worker hive and the uh, the little swarm I caught a couple of weeks ago a week ago no March 2nd got it on March 2nd so I'll be getting into it again and uh, seeing if there's uh, eggs and brood and larvae you know all that see if they're building up you know if they need any more food right now we're we're getting some fruit trees blooming you know they're they're working those they're working you know, the dandelions, the hen bit, and, uh, you know, I don't know if there's any other forage out there for them other than pollen. You know, the, the elm trees are, are budded out, and a lot of them's already set seeds. So they've, uh, they've had access to pollen, plus the pollen substitute, I've got a uh, free choice for them. You know, they can, and they're taking it, and then they're taking the, the hen bit, because I can see it as kind of a purplish pollen. And I see them working the, the plum trees and the peach trees are starting to bloom now. So they're they're getting getting geared up, and uh, hopefully if I put out a bunch of crimson clover seed. Hopefully it'll germinate. Of course, we got 12 inches of rain after I put it out. It will uh, we'll keep you updated on all these things I got going on. Plus, I still have to plant my cool season crops in the garden. I was going to try to get to that today. I do have my potatoes cut and uh, kind of healed over, or dried. So try to get all that planted by March 17th. So the <laughs> deadline's coming up and uh, hopefully the weather will hold out tomorrow or, or maybe even Sunday and I can get all those uh, planted. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. We'll uh, catch y'all later.